Okay, super simple way to make yourself a ring at home when you don't have one. Uh, this will be for a shot put ring, so it'll be seven feet. Um, is I like to find I like to find a center crack. So if your driveway has cuts in it, boom, just run that. Make the center point of your the center of your circle right down through the middle, and that way you always have a line to go off of. I just make a somewhat circular line out of the back come to the front and I do the exact same thing it doesn't really have it doesn't have to be perfect in terms of your circle obviously that circle is a little bit too strong in its arch um, but now what I'm gonna do is just come into the middle I'm gonna find three and a half feet right, here we go put myself a little circle in the middle that way I know where middle is and then I am gonna come over here and I'm gonna make myself a triangle okay and this is gonna help me to better see where I'm landing in the front of the ring so I can keep some consistency uh, and where my right and left landing boom there you go simple homemade drill circle okay so during this you may not have a ring or let's say there's a situation in which you don't have a ring you don't have equipment and you have no place or nothing to throw but you want to kind of stay in the rhythm and work on some of the different parts of the rotational shot put all you need is some surface to throw on and some parameter of your seven foot circle I have a driveway. You may say, well, my driveway is slightly downhill. That's okay. That's actually great for practicing getting your right down quicker into the middle. So practicing on a little bit of a downhill to me is never an issue. Uh, and actually it's kind of a benefit. So then once you get into the circle and you're on a level plane, um, you're going to have way better right foot timing in the middle. Okay. So what are some drills that I can do? I'm gonna take you through a list of drills that you need zero equipment for, except for shoes. I always say that you need a pair of throwing shoes because I've done these drills without throwing shoes. And what happens is after a while, your knees will start to get super sore. Um, and it's just from kind of the torque and the grinding of it so i always say that you want to make sure you have shoes to do your drills with all right the first thing i want to do is conveniently i have a split right through the middle of my driveway um, so that lets me know where center is in the ring at all times if you don't i recommend drawing a line out the front and a line out the back um, so this way you can know am i centered up am i one step to the right am i one step to the left am i all the way over so that you can know where you are setting yourself up in the ring. For drills, I like to just go with where I would throw from. I tend to throw with a little bit of an offset to the right. So what's a good drill? Um, the first one would be a 360 drill. In my 360 drill, I'm really trying to practice how am I gonna come out of the back and how am I gonna load over that left. If you're on a driveway, it's gonna be super grippy, so you're gonna have to be super patient with it. But what I'm thinking about here is I'm thinking about <clears throat> my right starting the movement and I'm thinking about balancing over that left and with the 360 I like to come all the way back around back around back around back around you may not be perfect on every one of these but all I'm trying to do is feel balance on that left as I come around balance so you'll notice that my left doesn't bend I'm not trying to lean out really hard over I'm shifting and I'm shifting my center point out over that left and then my right just comes around it's not a big swing if you need to tap it to start that's fine it's a great lead up okay 360 drill <clears throat> drill number two is a 360 step drill okay the reason I use this drill is it helps me to think about my right foot coming down 
in the front uh, or when my right foot contacts coming into the middle and it's great if I find myself over rotating um, and if I find myself not driving appropriately um, there's some different thought processes with that but we'll just simply what this drill helps you do is get contact on the right side of the ring as you come to the middle so coming out of the back I'm dropping my left knee down step to my right Step to my right, step to my right, step to my right. If I want to take it up a notch, I'm thinking about driving off my left. When I land, I want to land with my chest boom, facing the sector. And this is going to help me to get enough load on this left and get off of it. And I, I like to say with a lot of my throwers, if I see them hanging out or getting too heavy on that left or coming all the way around so that their heel is facing out over is sprint down the right sector. Bang, right down the right sector. And just like everything with, with throwing and thought process when you're in it, I like to over-exaggerate it. So if I tell a thrower, hey, sprint down the right sector, they're not going to be able to actually sprint down that right sector in time. But if they think I want to sprint down that right sector, by the time they actually get that right down, bang, now I'm center in the ring. The next drill I want to do, this is more about, about essentially how uh, stacked I am over my right as I move in the middle. So it's like a half turn drill. Uh, this is, we actually call this the mag drill uh, from coach Blaine Mag that's at University of Finley. Um, and I loved this drill for staying balanced and keeping that right moving in the middle. And I would do three to five of them at, the, at a time. And I would just go half turn. And I would just go half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn. All right, the next drill I like with no ring um, is a full to a power um, and I'm just trying to land in that rat position so I go to my full and I try to land with my shoulders facing back in and as you can see even with this drill it's a little bit different because I don't have the balance of a shot put but my left came down super early All I'm trying to do is feel that right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The next one that I like is, it's a little weird, but at the same point, I think it really helps me to think what am I doing in the throw and why am I doing it in the full throw and that's a full throw and then I reverse it so I go full throw
All right. And the last drill that I really like, um, we call it a float float sting. You can call it just a line drill. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna do a South African down the line, okay? So here I have a long stretch. You can do it on a sidewalk. I like the line because it helps me keep in balance. But I'm gonna get, like I'm gonna take a South African out of the back. So the biggest thing that you'll notice in this drill is that as you land, if you land too heavy on your left, you're not gonna be able to keep going. So when I land, I wanna land right, left, and I wanna feel myself, my hips, everything stay back on that right so that I can go push with my right and think about starting the next time. Bang, I'm back on my right. Bang, I'm back on my right. Bang, I'm back on my right. 